All right, today is July 17th, 2021, and apparently the rapture is going to happen today. Right now, you're looking at a guy, uh, fittingly, this is his name, Bob Wolf, Wolf, Wolf. The irony is not lost here. Uh, it's got a small channel, but I came across this video. Look at the title, Rapture, July 17th to the 20th. The Father's Truth, he says. Go watch Pearl Kohler. I don't know who that is. God bless. And, of course, you can always trust uh, the complete authenticity of a solid doctrine video by the amount of spunky and jazzy emojis that this grown man puts in the title. That's always a good sign, right? Look at the views. 4,200 people watched this guy's video as he calls for the rapture during this time period. Always check the thumbs up. They love getting the ears tickled, the itching ears tickled. We're going to listen to some clips here, and then we're going to comment as we go. Here we go. So 717 is very important. You know, so these are the signs that the Father was giving me, and he was like, you know, I want you to make a video and say that the rapture is going to happen the 17th and the 18th of October. All right, so right now this guy's talking about, I don't know if it was last year or a couple years ago, he says that God came to him and had him make a video in that month of October calling for the rapture on October 17th or 18th or whatever. All right, so this is what he's saying right now. Okay, and at this time I was under the belief, the doctrine of the devil, that no man knows the day or the hour, which is... Now, did you get that? He just called Matthew 24, 36, where Jesus said, No man knoweth the day or the hour, the doctrine of the devil. Try to let that sink in. It is just unbelievable. It isn't true, and I'll get to that, okay? So I was obedient and faithful. and knew None of what this guy does is obedient and faithful to Christ. The only one he was being obedient and faithful to is Satan. I knew that it was going to cause a big stir and cause all kinds of grief for me, and I did it. Okay? And it didn't happen. All right? Okay. So, again, just to recap, because we, wanna, we don't want to take him out of context. Uh, a year or two ago, he says God came to him and said, prophesy the rapture on October 17th or 18th of such and such year. And so he says, I did it. He was being faithful, all right? Just so you understand exactly what he's talking about so far. So as he does, when he gives me these messages and I'm obedient and I do it, he lets me know, usually afterwards, <laughs> why he had me do it, okay? And he had told me the reason that he had me do it was because he was just trying to throw the enemy off. So again, the crackpot scenario that he's describing here. He is saying that the God of all the universe, holy beyond measure, came to him and had him intentionally falsely prophesy the rapture back on October 17th and 18th. And the reason that God did this, the reason that God violated his own uh, word of God, his own word, was to throw the enemy off. So he didn't have this kook use the power of the Word of God to combat the enemy. Instead, God apparently changed tactics, and now he's having his followers intentionally and willfully falsely prophesy in order to combat the enemy. I mean, does, does, is that just unfathomable? You didn't think this could get any worse in this absolutely uh, heretical generation that is just climbing the banana tree of insanity and, quite frankly, Satanism. Because this guy, there's no doubt he's Second Corinthians 11. Uh, ministers of righteousness, or ministers of Satan disguised as ministers of righteousness. Because what he just said there is absolute blasphemy. And, and sometimes I, I, I'm just at a loss for words. How can this be happening? How can so many people, you know, watch this and give it thumbs up and think that this is true, that God would violate his own word to combat the enemy now? I, I, I'm just at a loss.
You know, the enemy had been attacking me horribly because of my faith and my trust and my obedience. So he was trying to throw the enemy off for my sake and just for the general sake of everything. Just for the general sake of everything. <laughs> it's just, this, this is gumdrops and lollipops, people. These people are absolutely off the rock. I, quite frankly, they've got to be possessed. Okay. And he's so amazing the way that he works because, you know. That, that's amazing that he worked like that. Look, look how he continues to attribute the false prophecy to God. Now, we know that God didn't tell him this because God would never do this. Nobody, no true prophet of God ever misses. But he, he's saying that God is amazing for doing this. He had led me to um, Andrea, child of the Most High. Okay? By the way, shout out to you, Andrea. You're a God-fearing woman. No, um, I, I bet she's not. I don't know who this Andrea is. But if she's affiliated with you or she's doing the same stuff you are, no. She's not a woman of God. But it's a nice shout out anyway, I guess. And right after that, he had led me to a video about that she had put out about she was having a baby and the baby, you know, was premature and the doctor was laughing, you know, and he showed me that video right after he had me put that date out, you know, so what, that was what, what does anybody follow what this guy is talking about? Nonsensical, irrational. Wow. God fooling the enemy and laughing about it. He's got a great sense of humor, by the way. Oh, He's got a great sense of humor. He is so funny. Um, look how he talks like he talks to God, right? I mean, oh, oh, look, this guy talks to God. God has a sense of humor. But I can tell you, it, it wasn't God that was laughing about this. It wasn't God's humor. It was more likely Satan. Satan and his minions and his workers and spiritual wickedness in high places. They're the ones that are laughing. They're the ones that have a sense of humor. Because they both can't believe that you're dumb enough to actually call the words of Jesus Christ um, a doctrine of devils, as you did in the beginning. But also, he, they can't believe how dumb and gullible all the followers are who watch these types of videos and believe them. They're the ones who have the sense of humor, wicked as they are. Oh, man. Oh, man. So funny. <laughs> it makes me laugh all the time. Okay? So, and the other thing, Andrew, while I'm talking about you, I wanted to let you know. Um, he has been showing me the 17th for months, months and months and months, okay? Um, and after he had been showing me this, he led me to another dream that you had about you flying around and going around some children who said that the rapture was going to happen on the 17th, but didn't give you a month. Oh, well, that, there you go. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the credibility uh, factor comes back into play. I mean, after all, you know, now you have dreams, and why not? Uh, rapture predictions and dreams, they go, you know, hand in hand, side by side, dumb and dumber. They always go together. Don't read what the words of Jesus Christ says in, in, in the Holy Bible. Let's give heed to our dreams and rapture predictions or rapture prophecies, according to you. Why not, right? A month or a year, okay? Well, this is the month and this is the year. All right? So okay. So I'll, I'll leave... Captain Wolf, Crackpot, uh, right there, you know. Am I, am I being mean? Perhaps a little bit. But again, here's what you don't see. When this these dates pass and the rapture doesn't happen, how many of these that watch this, and, and, and trust me, this guy has a smaller channel. There are, there are vastly greater in numbers uh, channels that uh, do this also. But what you don't see is how many will walk away from Jesus Christ because of what this clown did, his false prophecy. And that's what false prophecy does. It shipwrecks the faith of thousands and millions. People think, well, it didn't happen. I feel foolish. Maybe Jesus isn't real. And they go, they leave, they go back into the world and back into their lives of sin, abandoning God because of people like this. And they can't stop. They won't stop. They'll continue doing it because they truly are uh, ministers of Satan disguised as ministers of righteousness. Now, just for the record, in the book of Matthew, we're in the 24th chapter. Scroll down with me. 
Let's read the doctrine of devils according to Captain Wolf there. No, it's not. These are the precious words of Jesus Christ. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. Who? No man. Does that mean maybe there's a guy, his name is Mr. Noman? No, it doesn't. It means no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. What is, it, what is he talking about? Well, here. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. No man knoweth the day or the hour. I, I can't imagine it being any more plain than that. And I pray that if you do follow Jesus, or you think you do, and you're listening to wolves like Mr. Wolf, flee. Flee from these wolves. Come back into the loving and safe arms of Jesus Christ. Trust in his words and believe what he said. This is probably prediction number 7,853 on the rapture, and it's going to fail again because Jesus says, no man knoweth the day or the hour. Trust in Jesus Christ today.